What's up, everybody? Don't forget to subscribe to the World's TV YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of this great content moving forward. You know, some of the stuff that happens in the world, you literally cannot make up. Like, the lack of common sense is really really common like how stupid and idiotic people are nowadays mind blows me it really does here's a little story i found earlier today uh obviously if you guys don't know california passed a law that is that is officially banning <coughs> excuse me that is officially banning gasoline powered vehicles starting in 2035 or by the year 2035 okay so i approved the plan last week to end the sale of new gasoline powered cars by 2035 making it the first state i might add you the first state in the united states to do so but california has a energy problem if you don't know what's going on in california okay they have a massive energy problem state officials are now telling people who bought electric powered cars like teslas and stuff like that to not charge their electric cars because of the energy deficiency that they are currently going through but yet you passed a law banning people from buying gasoline powered vehicles and forcing them to buy or to buy excuse me electric powered vehicles how in the hell does that mindset does that ideology make any sense so we're having this issue we're going to pass a law telling people you need to buy this thing that we're having issue in controlling and maintaining and producing like, am I the only one that's just completely shocked and mind blown and dumbfounded at how this makes any sense? Let me read you the rest of this article. So, but now state officials are telling drivers, okay, this is from Newsbreak, by the way. Now state officials are telling drivers not to charge their electric cars during the upcoming Labor Day weekend when temperatures are expected to hit triple digits for millions of residents putting a strain on the power grid this week california independent system operator which oversees the state's flow of electricity urged residents to avoid charging their vehicles over the long weekend particularly from 4 p.m to 9 p.m that's when the state's power grid experiences the highest demand as residents turn on their air condition and solar energy production declines as the sun goes down California and the West are expecting extreme heat that is likely to strain the grid with increased energy and demands, especially over the holiday weekend, the operator said in a statement. Not charging electric vehicles is one of the crucial ways people can conserve energy, according to the operator. You are telling people to conserve energy because you have a energy producing problem, yet you are forcing people to buy energy powered vehicles. How in the fuck? Does that make any sense? It doesn't. This is what happens when you have people. The governor, Gavin Newsom, Democratic, far-left, liberal people running states like California. And trust me, it gets no better here in New York. California and New York are the two most liberal-minded states in the world. The two most blue democratic states in the united states and yet you have an idiot ideology like this i don't get how that like you you people have got to start <clears throat> excuse me people people okay who lives in these states you gotta look at your elected officials whoever runs the state governor mayor whatever if you pass a law forcing us to do this but yet you yourself don't have the resources to produce what we need, then get the hell out of office. Because clearly you have no idea what the hell you're doing or you're trying to push an agenda or narrative. 
Now, again, we could go to the conspiracy theories all we want because I got a couple conspiracy theories myself. Now, I'm not trying to get banned like they did Andrew Tate wrongfully, but I got a couple conspiracy theories myself about why they are all of a sudden want people to go to electric powered vehicles. Hey, it's great for the earth. It's great for the environment, blah, blah, blah. You would think the government gives a damn about the environment. They burn and cut down trees every single day to build new factories. Every time when you build a building, when you're cutting down a tree, you know you're hurting us, right? It's hurting our ecosystem. It's hurting how we breathe. If you didn't know Science 101, and I'm not a science major, we need trees to breathe. Now, sometimes they do replant the trees in other areas, blah, blah, blah. But anytime you cut down a tree, you're cutting the chances of us breathing properly, okay? They do that every single day. The government don't give a damn about the climate, especially when they're the ones messing it up in the first place. So let's cut that crap out the way. But you're telling people to do, to do this, forcing them to do this because you put this law into place. And then saying, hey, actually, do not do this because we don't have the resources to produce what we want you to get. Really? Really? <laughs> Yo, the, the world we live in is just an absolute chaos. Lord have mercy. Holy crap. Hopefully we get this together because this this is crazy and i mean listen jesus gotta come and save us because i don't know what's going on you, this is scary that we have people like these in office we have people who make decisions pertaining to your life your living your being and don't know what the hell they're doing welcome to the united states of america folks World's TV, let me know if you disagree or agree with what I said. Don't forget to leave your comment down below. All criticism is welcome, whether good or bad. Subscribe to the channel, comment, share this video to your friends, family, loved ones. Follow us on Instagram at World's TV. Same with Twitter at World's TV and TikTok, World's TV on TikTok. I'll catch y'all later. Be safe. Happy Labor Day weekend. I'm out. Peace.